Hello friends once again what's up and this is a big day because Tekken 7 collaboration update is on the roll. Sorry for the late uh, for this review video because I actually published another video already in the morning that was about activating the ruby codes in the game to get the free rubies and uh, uh, activate the coupons. If you haven't activated just go ahead and check out the video if you need any help you can take that. But in this video my friends let's go and check out the entire updates one by one because there's a lot of lot of things to talk about my friends and honestly most of them are good. So let's go and start our discussion and before we get into that my friends like always I request please give this video a like maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already leave a comment in the comment section because these sort of things appreciates me a lot helps me a lot. And let's go and check out the update and we're going to start from this section that says uh, Tekken Honor Mission. And this is going to be a bunch of missions that you need to complete in order to get these tokens, uh, these coins, uh, um, these badge fragments. And you'll be able to craft badge with these fragments. Now the uh, task list of these missions. Uh, I don't really think that they are too much complicated, but there are some things like event uh, earn 5000 points in Horang, the king of Rakwan to one time. Maybe this one uh, be a bit difficult, but still uh, we'll see, we'll see. Like uh, playing when we'll play, we'll see that how difficult these are and I'll try to figure out any other ways if possible. Now secondly, we are having this uh, good old list of missions where we can actually get this bridal version of EX Nina for free and usually uh, like uh, previous uh, collaboration characters like Chan Li or a soul bad guy you just need to complete these uh, things these missions on a daily basis earn uh, these coins and of course summon in uh, the banner where this character will be uh, available for you to get for free now this section right here is once again the uh, star and moon in pin stone event pretty much uh, everything the same we had before and the star and moon in pin stones are pretty good and damage dealing because this uh, star stone is going to give uh, more cp to your character and increase attack by 20 percent and uh, this uh, moon shaped stone is actually going to be uh, better for damage dealing because this is going to increase attack by 20 percent and is going to increase uh, Tekken Fighter's active skill damage by probably 12% when the stone is fully leveled up. So these stones are highly highly damage dealing stones. And next you, you can actually craft this badge, uh, this Tekken 7 badge that actually I showed you uh, earlier with these fragments. You can actually craft this badge. This is probably for the showcase, nothing much. And also you will be able to craft SS character memories. SS memories for Alisa and SS, uh, SS uh, memory for the classic version of Horang. So these two SS uh, memories can be crafted if you have enough of these uh, m uh, memory of Nina, uh, the Nina's classic version. Now this memory is only available in the summon section. So if you have extra memories, for example, you need to have three memories in order to craft one of these SS memories, which is can be, which can be really, really helpful for those who are actually pursuing these two characters. Next, uh, we are having this Tekken uh, collaboration dice game, which is freaking amazing because there is a bunch of good looking rewards, some rubies. And of course, you can see that uh, that this uh, the reward list that uh, at level 20, you will be getting a generic SS memory. At uh, level 50, you'll be getting uh, rubies. Uh, sorry, at uh, final level, you'll be getting 50 rubies. And you can just uh, keep farming. And uh, these are the rewards. The rewards are just uh, not too bad. Okay. A lot of, lot of APs we are getting, by the way. Lot of APs. As you can see, 500 APs after one stages. Wow. There's a lot of, lot of APs, by the way. Next, uh, we are going to check out this Tekken Event Cortex. This is basically, basically free imprint stone for all these characters. And let's check out the uh, imprint stones. And this is going to be the Circle Stone. And looks like Netmarvel has done uh, the, uh, the a revolutionary thing for the first time. And as you can see, each of these stones, it doesn't matter which one you select or click, 
all of them are double attack stones. All of them are double attack stones and Net Marvel finally got rid of those defense stones and HP stones because they finally realized nobody actually are using these stones. So if the first stone is going to increase attack by of course 20% from the two tires and in the middle effect is going to increase attack by 11% for 5 seconds when taken fire lands a critical hit. Okay, okay, it's interesting. So the next stone in the middle effect is going to increase targets damage DC by certain percent for 5 seconds when taken fire lands an active skill. Pretty much good dope stone by the way. And the last hexagon stone is going to increase critical damage of taken fire by 15%. So pretty much useful uh, damage dealing stones right here. And of course you'll be getting this usual uh, extra these coins and extra uh, these things, these shards. This, you'll getting 500 shards when you are awakening your fighters to 5 stars. So they have kind of removed the hammers and they added this thing which is of course not really bad. Now let's move on to this section right here and first of all we are going to check this Paul in Wonderland. And this is going to be the rush dungeon as usually and let's check out what are the characters they are allowing. These are the characters that and these characters are specifically all of them are taken uh, 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 collaboration characters. So no other characters are allowed to use in order to uh, get the bonus uh, coins or uh, not even the old taken fighters are allowed. No way. So uh, I mean that's okay, but uh, the thing is in uh, these rush dungeons you'll be able to farm these uh, you know dices in order to play this dice game. So let's check out the shop here, and in the shop you, usually we have this uh, set card, this rush dungeon set card, some hammers, specialized hammers for this collaboration, and affinity boxes, blah blah blah. Nothing really uh, fancy. I would say let's check out the set card by the way, and this is going to. Cast a critical hit shield that uh, uh, absorb damage for 5 seconds when tagging in attack and fire. And remove the shield when hit is uh, uh, with a critical hit 4 times. Decrease damage DC by 99% for 5 seconds uh, when HP 30% or less. So my friends, this is going to be a pretty dope um, set card I would say. Because this uh, set card is not based on attack. As you can see, first of all, this is giving us a critical shield. Next, it is going to give us a decreased damage received when the HP is 30% or lower. Can you guess in which game mode this set is going to be applicable? Hell yeah! That is going to be the Demos base, my friends. Ideal, ideal set card for the Demos base. Super, super amazing. I think you should get this set, definitely. Next, uh, we have this Dream Match. Actually, uh, there is nothing to talk about Dream Match. You guys know that you have to play it uh, because uh, there are certain tasks uh, in, in different section which will require you to play this Dream Match. So just go ahead and play. Next, uh, we are having this tower. And of course, none of these towers is unlocked yet because I don't have any of this character. You need to summon this character in order to uh, uh, get uh, these uh, towers unlocked. And of course, there will be a bunch of rubies right there, which I showed you in yesterday's video that uh, there is a quite lot of good rewards in this tower. Next, uh, we are having this boss showdown, Devil Jin. Now, this is probably the most exciting game mode in this collaboration, I would say. Because look at this reward, there is a lot of lot of useful rewards out here. But the thing is, most importantly, you can actually improve this reward by imposing certain limitations on yourself. For example, if you tap this one, this one is going to give a certain limitation that boss is going to start with ultra armor, uh, which is going to last for 20 seconds. Boss became immune to stun, freeze, petrify, and fear for 20 seconds. And, and as you can see that if I deselect uh, this, this uh, current uh, challenge level is on zero. But if I select this one, this takes you to level one. But guess what, if I select this one and it will uh, take you to level 7, okay? Because this is a better, higher difficulty because this is going to decrease bosses, burn, poison, bleed, starlight, dark, uh, darkness, shock and chill damage received by 79%. So this is a higher difficulty imposed upon you. But if you do it two times and uh, if you just go to level 10, look at the rewards my friends. 
good good rewards along with 500 rupees from level 10 500 freaking rupees from level 10 so basically the higher you go uh, the better will be the rewards for example if i just tap all of these damn things and if i just 30 will be the highest level and 30 level will be definitely nightmarish but look at these rewards my friends oh my god there's a bunch of times we're getting 500 rubies so this damn thing wow look at this 1000 rubies right here this is sick my friends this is sick so i'm definitely going to make a separate video on this because this needs a lot of attention by the way and the most impressive part is we can actually use any one of our fighters any collab fighters any in-game face fighters or any fighters against against these boss however of course the recent ex meta fighters are going to be really useful him against him because he is a very strong boss of course i'm going to talk about this section later in a separate video next uh, we are having this come at me game uh, that is where you just have to play with horong and uh, you don't have to do it just uh, simply just go ahead and beat your enemies like just uh, you know what we did in uh, with uh, blueberry in the beach remember guys let's just try it for a minute and see what happens i think i don't really think it's going to be very very difficult oh yeah he is very fast by the way he's very 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 fast okay this is fun fun anyways this is going to be fun and of course the rewards are nothing really special but you just have to play it as a part of the tasks of every day in order to get other rewards and next we are having this event summon where we will we'll be going to get uh, we'll be getting this bridal version of nina for free and she is probably going to be an amazing character so let's go and check out her kit and she is going to be a yolo defense fighters however she probably is going to have the best leadership in this uh, uh, Tekken collaboration because she's going to increase Tekken fighters attack by 60% and decrease the stack cooldown by 2 seconds. This is very very important leadership uh, I, I think in guild raid super dope leadership 60% attack increase is also very very good and if we check out the skills uh, they are pretty much decent high very very high amount of attack of course because she's a new fighter and her skills are pretty decent this is going to increase critical rate increase targets damage deceive there's a chain effect with this skill this is going to uh, you know increase attack and inflict physical damage and and this skills right here actually has healing for the entire team member so once again this is going to be very very useful in demos base my friends this is going to be super useful in demos base because she is going to heal each and every member of her team and of course there is 3pg and everything however in the skills i don't really see any dots so let's go and check out the cores and 30 percent pg gain core critical rate critical rate errors gain so two critical damage rate increase core pretty decent grab skill enhance strike skill enhance wow both of them are getting a buff assassin and look at this my friend this assassin core right here explosion immunity to burn poison bleed shock chill darkness and starlight that means what my friends she is literally immune to any sort of dot explosion i mean how amazing and unique is that oh my lord anyways this is going to reset cooldown active three active uh, two active three skill i'm on landing skill he said the cooldown blunt bomb and increase attack speed by 15% for 3 seconds and in this uh, core detail sister dress increase attack by 18% or HP is 50% or higher increase critical damage and defense by 10% for 5 seconds upon landing skill so pretty much decent core right here but one thing really amazes me that she doesn't really have any dot she doesn't have one single dot in her core or in her skills but literally she is immune to the explosion of all the available dots in the game so she is going to be a literally unique character and i can't really wait to test her so let me just go ahead and do some skill review because i mean one character without any dot i mean this is incredible so 
Look at this. This is a pretty much powerful attack skill. One. This is going to be another skill. And uh, this is going to be the th active two skill. Active three skill right here. And pretty much grab. And this is going to be the default finisher. Uh, sometimes somehow it reminds me of Chan Li by the way and this is going to be the finisher skill uh, She is beautiful by the way. She is so gorgeous What she's doing? Oh my god uh, That's the kind of a long 3bg by the way and uh, yeah, yeah, that's decent and she is gorgeously built by the way and most importantly importantly we're getting this unique character for free which is a decent thing my friends i'm really impressed now let's talk about this battle card banner we are actually having a bunch of these cards a bunch of them so we're going to check one of them one by one and first of all this is the special card of horang and as you can see there's a bonus effect is going to increase critical rate by five percent and critical damage by 20 percent for 10 seconds upon using this card the skill I mean increasing critical rate this is something totally unique and of course this increase uh, increase rate of critical rate is going to affect the damage in a big way and this will be the special card for Elisa this is going to uh, increase attack by 12% for 10 seconds uh, and this is also great because solid increase of 12% attack upon uh, using the finisher so cool and this is going to be the special card for uh, EX Nina and uh, this is going to obtain 12% power when using this skill. So three characters are having three different type of effects. And of course, all of these cards are uh, available in attack, uh, active skill or critical damage uh, versions. Now let's talk about the big thing right here, my friends, the banner set card. And this is going to increase uh, Tekken Spider's critical rate by 7%. Uh, so there are separate effects on these things. First card is going to increase Tekken Fighter's critical rate by 7%. The second card is going to increase Tekken Fighter's combat power by 35,000. And third one is going to have a 30% chance to charge 5 power slot upon landing an active skill. So these effects are somewhat identical to the previous EX sets, but let's see the set effect. And a set effect is going to increase critical damage of a Tekken Fighter by 70%. Deals additional damage equal to 250% of attack upon landing an active skill. Increase Tekken Fighter's attack by 22% per every power. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this is a totally unique uh, set. I haven't seen uh, these sort of things like the increase Fighter's attack by 22% for every power. But the thing is, this set uh, will not give you high CP. If you are someone who is looking forward to a Tekken set that will give you a high number of CP, this is not going to be the set because there is no such thing as critical rate. Of course, this set is going to deal a huge amount of critical uh, damages and of course, usual damage will be increased, but this is not going to increase the CP because you guys know that for CP, we need critical rates. However, this set is probably going to be very, very good. We need to actually see that... Uh, uh, how good uh, or how better it is actually uh, compared with the other set I will probably just uh, get this set to try one but uh, definitely this is going to be the damage dealing set because the other set on the rush dungeon that is totally a defensive set that is uh, highly useful again in, in game modes like Dino Space or, uh, or in Tower of Trials these sort of things but for damage this set is going to be way way better and of course this is not a confusion anymore so looks like it is kind of mandatory to get this set if you are going for this Tekken Fighters. Now this will be an option card and pretty pretty impressive option cards my friends because first of all this is going to increase the critical rate by a certain percent when we fully level up this card and secondly this is going to decrease skill cooldown by 1.9 seconds. 1.9 seconds my friend this is super super dope. And this is probably going to be a very, very useful option card. The reason is this card is not limited to any fighters. You can use this card with any fighters in the game. That fighter cannot, may not be a Tekken fighter. 
it can be any other fighters how amazing is that we literally need this sort of cards more super super amazing card great for cp and great for uh uh, skill cooldown. Uh, I wish there was some sort of additional attacks, but that's also okay. And comparatively, this is going to be a better card in terms of damage because this is going to increase the critical damage of Tekken Fire by 20% and decrease cool cal skill cooldown by 1.2 second and increase the Tekken Fire's critical rate by 8%. So overall, this card will be better for the Tekken Fire's. Next and finally, we are going to take out uh, take a good look at the banner itself. So this is the first banner where we are having this uh, Nina, Elisa and Harong as a, as a three participants of this banner. However, from the September 1, there will be another banner where we can actually see uh, characters like Devil Jin, uh, another the bridal version of Nina and of course the classic version of Harong. But let's check out these characters for now. Let's take a good look at this uh, Nina Williams classic. She is a purple attack type fighter and she's going to increase a uh, purple element fighters attack by 65%. Freaking amazing leadership for all the purple um, uh, purple uh, damage de uh, purple element fighters and any fighters in the game, any purple fighters will be getting buffed by the by this amazing leadership. And she has this assault and hand down as her EX skill and uh, from this skill this is going to uh, inflict damage equal to 30% decrease targets defense and increase targets damage received by 35% which is so good uh, but 4 seconds uh, it's a kind of short time but still is good I think this skill is going to inflict damage and gain super armor 80% chance to reset cooldowns upon successful attack 80% is freaking high by the way that means this character will experience a lot of skill resets there's a chain effect uh, uh, along with this skill and this is going to deal additional damage equal to 350% of attack to all enemies upon use. Stun all enemies for 3 seconds. 3 seconds stun. This is massive my friends. This is going to be really really helpful. And Twisted Mind X, this skill right here inflicts damage equal to 13%. Decrease damage received by 80% for 6 seconds. Okay. So a pretty defensive skill right here and this skill also having a chain effect. So we are having actually two charge skill. Wow. That is kind of interesting. Next we are having this uh, inflict damage equal blah blah blah. Rage of art. Okay. Now there is another strange thing my friends. Nowhere in her skills I haven't found one single dot. That's strange. Let's check out her core effects. And uh, she is resistant to stun, by the way. Skill in her strike for PG gain, 20% PG gain. That is kind of uh, you know, a bummer, I would say. 30% PG gain is the ideal, but she, this character is having 20%. But the thing is, she is probably going to act like a, a BS0 original that we see. Zero original also had this 20% uh, uh, PG, but you know how much he resets his skill like crazy and she gained uh, this assassination arts is going to gain 50% during 20% or more combos so 50% PG she will gain automatically PvP exclusive remove attackers buff from their active skills blah 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 okay increase attack by 6% uh, for 5% for landing recovers 20% HP so pretty much decent core right here but pretty much shocking that this character also has no single dot not a single dot not a single dot explosion uh i don't really know how to uh deal with these things because uh this is kind of strange by the way so let's check out the other character and this is going to be alisa boskonovic she is uh, 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 uh you know you know she is an android by the way she is a robot she's not really human being but she is sweet as hell she is having the leadership of increased Tekken fighters attack by 30% immediately gain 5% power when defeating an enemy. Wow. So sweet by the way. So sweet for uh, things like time attacks. Nice leadership but not really the best I think because 30% attack is going to, uh, I don't know, it's not really that good but let's check out her skills. And she has body and soul and heavy blow. 
as the ex keys we'll check these things later and this skill a uh, hard reset is going to uh, do some damage blah 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 and this double rocket prance is, is going to inflict, inflict damage you got a certain percent increase attack 30% uh, of defense for 7 seconds apply venom on the target for 10 seconds upon landing skill deals positive damage equal to 50% of attack every 1 second and power charge rate by 80% so this is the first dot I saw in this character so she is having poison and in this destructive form actually uh, uh, she can be at, uh, used to an attack increase to increase attack by 20% for 5 seconds increase strike skill damage for all allies and self by 30% for 15 seconds upon use wow this is so good by the way and nice attack buff for 25% and also 30% increase your strike skill damage for all the enemy or all the allies all the team members super dope by the way i like this next we are having this uh inflict damage equal to 13% it typically this bleed or poison damage equal to six times of the remaining bleed or poison damage and removes bleed and poison damage when attacking bleed and poison enemies wow wow this finisher is actually having six times uh that is six times dot explosion that is the highest dot explosion available in the game so far but however uh this is kind of random this looks like kind of random because it says that deals uh, bleed or poison damage equal to six times so it can actually do a dot explosion or may not uh, i'm not really sure about that because uh, this character is probably not having the bleeding here let's check out the core yeah, pretty decent striker skill as well because this is going to increase active uh, team members attack by 10% for 10 seconds Additionally increase taken fire skill degal rate by 6% She's going to be a very very useful striker. Let's check out the course by the way in the course She is actually having 30% PG gain HP defense continuous damage enhanced bleed. Wow Continuous damage enhanced poison. Holy mother of God. She's actually having both poison and bleed continuous damage enhancement and this core handle with caution, immune to burn, poison, shock, stun, petrify, increase active skill damage on bleeding targets by 60%, decrease active skill cooldown by 0 0.2 seconds, uh, landing on poison targets, freaking amazing, by the way, she's having the skill cooldown in the core, so this is going to be really, really helpful, and she is kind of literally immune to every single dots, and a lot of, a uh, bunch of CC effects, wow. And high mobility, she's going to reverse uh, recover 7% HP on attack by target, 7% HP or higher. Wow. Okay, so this is pretty much nice. She's going to recover HP when she's going to be attacked by a character that has more than 70% HP. Fatal retribution increase critical damage by 70%, 10% uh, combo hits. Okay, so she doesn't really have uh, bleeding in her core or skill. So now that... Uh, I don't really understand because probably she can actually manipulate other person's uh, dot. Maybe the, if the character is inflected with bleeding, she can actually probably manipulate. I'm not really sure about that. But let's check out the skill preview now really, really quick. And see how actually he she is on action. And this is going to be the first skill. Wow, nice, sweet. And this is the bleeding, by the way. This is bleeding. This deals bleeding. Now, here is the confusion that this skill description says that uh, this skill is going to deal poison. Uh, but notice one thing that this active skill that says thirst. Uh, look at this, my friends. That says thirster. Thirst. Thruster right burst. Okay, this is the second one. Thruster right burst. This is going to deal the bleeding. However, in her skills, actually, there is no such a uh, skill name as thirst burst or something. Now that is, uh, I don't know. That is kind of, I mean, of course, kind of surprising because we can see a skill in the preview, but we cannot see the skill. Uh, in the description how uh, and this is of course the venom dealing skill as you can see we saw this one in the description and everywhere but I cannot find this skill of course this one is going to deal bleeding and this one is going to wow 
she is going to do a lot of stuff with her chainsaw thing and this is going to be a destructive form wow so this is going to she's going to change as uh, uh, you know change her stance destructive form okay and this is going to be the finisher oh my god she is actually removing her head and beating the shit out of the enemy and this is going to be the ultimate finisher in a destructive form look at this Ah, pretty much dope, I think. Now, pretty much decent, solid character. Uh, but the only problem is, uh, she is actually not having any sort of shield. She is not having any sort of immunity in her core. I don't really know how she is going to survive. That can be a big question, by the way. Finally, we are going to check uh, Horang, who is the feature featured fighter for this banner. He is the main fighter for uh, Volume One, the first banner, and he has the best leadership, I guess, because he is going to increase taken fighter attack by sixty-five percent. This is probably going to be the best leadership. And let's check out uh, the skills of this character, and he is going to have concentrate. And probably you guys know what is concentrate. Concentrate is the core that. EXQO is having and Falco King skill down. See, Falcon uh, dies, kick skill down, uh, decrease uh, by 100% for 3 seconds. So, this character will be able to spam uh, the uh, skills of his Falcon dies, kick. So, we'll see, we'll see what happens because probably this is going to be the character who is going to be the opponent of EXQ in terms of damage. So this uh, Skyrocket first skill is going to increase damage equal to 13%. Uh, hyper Armor, Super Armor. Okay. Second one, inflict damage equal to 13% of attack. Enemy in increase penetration by 1500 for 7 seconds. Increase targets damage received by 28% for 28% uh, for 6 seconds. Okay, nice. And can be used uh, this one, a motion switch. Uh, which is going to uh, probably this is going to uh, you know uh, motion switch can be used for attack uh, used to increase attack by 30% decrease falcon kick cooldown by 3.5 when used okay nice so this is uh, you know you can see the arrow here you can actually change this thing so you can actually use this to uh, improve your falcon dice kick or you can use this to improve skyrocket cooldown. Okay, okay, nice, nice. So inflict damage uh, once again. Uh, blah blah blah. This the target damage is by fifteen percent. So this uh, finisher is also going to increase targets damage DC by another fifteen percent. This is sweet, by the way. And rage of arts uh, is going to uh, be the finisher, and uh, this is going to increase active team members attack by ten percent. Taken fighters attack by additional 5%. And this will be the Falcon Dice Kick. That uh, this is the skill that he is he can actually reset uh, by 100% for 3 seconds. And keep spamming uh, for 3 seconds for unlimited amount of time. Just like EXQO. But uh, this actually has a, is going to inflict damage equal to certain percent of attack. It is going to increase attack by 38% for 5 seconds. Active side good when attacking target uh, that do not have active skills. This physical damage equal to 5.5% of attack. However, this doesn't really have the dot explosion, my friends. So, I don't really believe this character can actually do more damage than EXQO when spamming the skill because, you know, dot explosion is something else. But this is probably going to be a pure attack and not a dot explosion. So, let's check out the course, by the way. So far, we found no dot, no dot in the skill section. However, let's go and power gain, critical rate, critical rate, continuous damage, disease, uh, strike, uh, skill enhancement, attack, real life attack. One rose is going to immune to stun, freeze, petrify, fear, uh, and just fury state for seven sevens and active cell um, deals physical damage equal to thirteen percent, decrease damage received by seventeen percent, seventy percent. Okay, 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 nice, cool. And this is going to increase uh, attack speed by 10% for 7 seconds while using active skills. Physical damage, okay. So once again, another character with no dot. I haven't found one single dot in this character. 
not a single uh, presence of shield or immunity. Of course, this guy has decreased damage received up to 70%, which is freaking amazing. But uh, I don't really know uh, how this type of characters is going to survive unless you are a very, very good player because we are kind of habituated in playing with shields. We all know that. So my friends, uh, I believe that was my review. Uh, I, I'm sorry the video has become a lot longer because I actually tried to uh, explain some things in details. There are some uh, pretty much surprises in the character and card banner by the way. Uh, but uh, these things remains to be seen that how they actually operate. None of these characters are actually having those shields and uh, uh, immunity which we always expect because uh, of certain bosses like for example Colossal or certain things uh, you cannot play without immunity against uh, uh, against uh, Giz Howard in Inferno mode is really still hard to play without a shield and most of the characters except uh, Elisa none of these characters are actually having no dot they don't have they have zero dots in their disposal so let's see how things uh, works out Hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. I'll be publishing more videos with more information regarding this character. And hope to see you, uh, see you guys in there. Till then, peace out and enjoy the game. Have fun.